Over Shabbat, three counselors for B'nai Akiva were attacked in Paris, France by a gang of 12 Muslims. Shalom to Tal Zoash. Hi. So tell us, what happened to the B'nai Akiva members last week? Okay. It was on Shabbat. They were walking um, for activity in uh, the Sneef of B'nai Akiva that is in this neighborhood. And suddenly, one of the, the counselors, um, he was walking and then somebody, I don't know if it was the uh, exact uh, Muslim or um, French uh, black guy, I don't know exactly who it was who started it, and they started to say that thing, like, you're Jewish, and, you know, and then he said to them, like, why are you talking to me like that? And then he really didn't like to hear their answer, so they started to have this fight and quarrel. And there were a lot of guys. There were only, like, three counselors and 10, 11 against them. And uh, Baruch Hashem, I feel that they had a really mazal, that they only had these kinds of uh, injuries because it could have happened something really even worse. Now, is the situation in general very bad or only in certain areas? First of all, we live this neighborhood where it happened and where the Bnei Kiva is. It's a very Jewish neighborhood. Even though there are a lot of Arabs and Muslims and, you know, black people that live here, but there are a lot of Jewish people who live here because most of the Jewish um, schools and Gan and, you know, all the places that the kids need to be is here. So that's why there is like 20,000, I think, Jewish people who live in this neighborhood. You understand? So the schools and the kindergartens, everybody, most of them are here. So that's why the popularity of the Jewish people here is very high. So here, um, it's really, you know, amazes me that it happened. Other areas, I don't know because I don't know. I don't just don't know. Are Jews leaving France because of the anti-Jewish violence? Because of the attack, I don't know if because the attack, but I know that um, the people here want to come to Israel because they like Israel and they love Israel and they feel connected to Israel. And, of course, I think they have this um, feeling that France isn't their home. You know, it's not the Holy Land and it's not Israel. It's just the place that, you know, it happened to be that they live here. But I don't think that they're really connected so much to the place. I think if all of them had an opportunity, they had a job in Israel, I'm sure most of them would have come from a long time ago already. Now, what measures has the Jewish community taken to defend itself? So, okay, they first of all, of course, they press charges in the police. And today and yesterday, there were a lot of patrols around the neighborhood. I saw more police officers walking around the streets and more um, uh, vehicles of police cars are standing and, you know, looking around. And, you know, you feel the more security now. You see it on the streets. But um, I don't know, like even now, Gnekiva, so we only have um, cameras in the SNIF. We don't have like a person who guards or something. So maybe now we'll think of taking security in Shabbat when we have activity in the um, in Gnekiva. You understand? So it's something that, you know, the parents will be afraid to send their kids if they don't know that maybe there's not a guard who's going to see and look who's coming in and who's coming out. And what happened was that after the last attack, the, all the counselors and the parents, we decided to do the activity at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and not after the noon. And all the counselors, they met in points around the city and the neighborhood, and they just waited for the Hanichim in one hour, and everybody came together because they didn't want the kids to come by themselves. Would you say Jews in France have a strong connection to Israel? Right. For me, it's very important that the Israeli people should know that Every month of August, there are invocations. So in our minds, you know, okay, you know you have a month of vacation. One year you're going to go to Italy. One year you're going to go to, I don't know, Swiss, whatever. No, they're every year in August, they go to Israel. It's important for them to be there and to feel the atmosphere and to learn more Hebrew and to be just with Israelis. I know like in Israel, oh, the French are coming, the French are coming. But it's not a cliche. It's true. They really want to be connected to the place and to the people. And also, the activities that Nakiva is doing is amazing because, like, 90-90% of the kids, they do aliyah. They come, they stay, they want to go to university, they want to, you know, get married with Israelis and stay in Israel. It's like, for them to be connected and to have a home and a family there, it's major. They really, really want it. So, even though they have these attacks, it just make it even stronger that they should come to Israel. 
and one of the kids that got attacked, his brother was in Bnei Akiva. He did a year in Israel in a program of Bnei Akiva friends, and now he joined the army. I mean, these are kids that they know already the you know the path that they're going to do. And Kevin, one of the other kids that got insulted, he's now in the. Um, in the 12th grade, and next year he knows already that he's going to be in the program of Nakiva, and he wants to go to the army. I mean, these kids, it's like from, it's unbelievable. When they're already 15, they know that when they finish their school, they're going to Israel. It's something that even their parents are preparing themselves to know, that when they're going to Israel, they're not coming back. So for us, it's not only that they're afraid or not afraid to stay here or to show that they're Jewish. It's like really the importance of what it means to be a Jew abroad and how to, you know, um, have the connection with Israel. And Bnei Akiva does that. It was, it's in the little things of Shabbat and all the, the programs that we have all during the year, and the Madrichim, that they do really Avodat Kodesh to put in Torah Avodah. And it's not something that it's easy to do when you live abroad. Tal, thank you very much for joining us. No problem.